Hey guys, Jack here with Space Games on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today another round, finally, of me living in the Carrack. <laughs> the Carrack is back. We'll take it out, um, do some missions with it. And uh, yeah, let's see if it works. Last time I lost it, it came back to my hangar. Awesome. Hey man, I'm in front of the elevator. Sorry guys. <laughs> So, yeah, let's uh, head into the action here. Still my favorite game, guys, Star Citizen, still my favorite game. Despite all the, you know, discussions everywhere in podcasts, Spectrum, Reddit, playing this game, look at this. Listen to this sound, I don't know what happened here. Someone got shot. Um, no, I just wrote this in Reddit. Uh, I have to put it down here for me a little bit. Um, I just wrote in Reddit um, some feedback on a stupid post. And I said, no game feels like Star Citizen when you play it. No game. You can't have that realism space game or spaceship and vehicle simulations like Star Citizen right now. And you will not have that in Starfield. You can fight with me forever on that one. Starfield is and will be, we don't know if it is, but I think it will be an awesome game. But when it comes to certain aspects of the game, the immersion like in Star Citizen cannot be achieved. Believe that. <laughs> Cracking again. <laughs> oh, Welcome, man. my friend. Two times, man. First cheddar. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we had this discussion. Well, the point is... I'm talking about a Reddit post uh, on the Star Citizen refund uh, Reddit. Oh, man. Don't get me started. Exactly. But, you know, um, I don't have the post here right now. I don't, don't want to open it. But those guys on the Star Citizen refund page, I mean, they, they totally missed the point. Stop comparing both games, right? That is uh, what we are talking about. Stop comparing those games. You will have fun in Starfield for the things you can do in Starfield as a solo player. And you will come to Star Citizen to get the real realism of space ga uh, spaceships, now right? Driving. So that's what we are talking about. And um, so I had a... You can't compare it. And... Uh, CIG, uh, one guy wrote, CIG, uh, actually was the guy who posted on Reddit, uh, they missed on, out on Starfield. Uh, what, what are you talking about? You miss out on stuff. I have to check the post again, but it, it made no sense what he wrote. Um, CIG has nothing to do with Starfield, and they don't focus on Starfield. Will they focus more on game development when it comes to space games? Yes. They will now focus more on that fact that other game developers st stand still. Stand still. <laughs> oh, 
other game developers will jump on that uh, space game train now. And they will try to simulate space and they will try to achieve what CIG is achieving. Welcome. But guess what? CIG is ahead. Way ahead of things. That's a fact. They develop technology in the background which can be groundbreaking for the whole game industry. You know, I mean, look at the graphics. If you can achieve this kind of graphics in a massive multiplayer online game, show me someone else who can do that. No one. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Never heard about it. Are those uh, space games? Kraken? Sorry, I never heard about it. I heard about Evil 2. I really don't know what kind of genre is it. What, what category are those in? RPG, MMOG... I don't think there's something like a Star Citizen Killer yet. Not yet. Don't know. I think, um, if you think about that, I hated PCs. I hated gaming on a PC. I was a PlayStation player for so many years now and um, when I saw Star Citizen I was like heck yeah I'm gonna build me a PC I have to log in here I'm gonna build me a PC and I will play Star Citizen first I bought a laptop that didn't work for very long and then I built my own PC here my machine I love it and now I'm not playing uh, PlayStation anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me read what you wrote, man. Yeah, the first is a super old game. Ah, there's been some talk for years about a sequel. Should be a single-player RPG. Okay. It's definitely not a competitor at all. Just funny because it's another we don't. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Understood. Yeah, I mean, could Starfield be a threat in certain aspects? Yes, we talked about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're a single player, you don't care about playing with friends, and you like, you know, building a base and just do Bethesda things. I call them Bethesda things. They're different. Bethesda, the gameplay style is different. If you're that kind of guy... You're going to love Starfield. If you want to relax for three hours mining, I don't know, gold or continuum. Continuum is rarely seen now, but... And just relax and enjoy, you know, a different world. Like being in a different world. Star Citizen is your game. Holy shit, Kragen. By the way, you were right. The ship came back to my hangar. It's still the same. It's absolutely the same. Look, even my bottles are still laying on the floor. Man, I have drinks here. That's perfect. Uh, I'll not do the helmet thing again. Like the other day. <laughs> if Starfield is a threat to Star Citizen, which I hope it is in... It is in any sense. It can only be good for Star Citizen. If CIG sees it as a competition, that's awesome for us. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly. That's what should happen. CIG needs to wake up now and say, okay, guys, we'll lose maybe for 10 weeks or 12 weeks. A lot of players. And um, you know what that means for Star Citizen? 
um, Star Citizen relies on pledges right now. And so they not only have to think about the pledge system and how they get the money, the, the income stream needs to change, but also at the same time, they need to get on the you know, development side and, and be a little bit faster in certain aspects. Um, I know that many people believe and they assume, and I hate assumptions, that once server meshing is completed, which I don't see a completion yet, um, once server meshing, everybody thinks the game features new gameplay, missions will come out in one time. Everything will be there suddenly because so many people are working in the background. You know, the problem is with server meshing, it's, it's again a crazy technology and it might take another year to adjust all the other systems around it again. So they're taking a huge risk right now with server meshing. Absolutely. You are clear to launch. Yeah, they can't do all at once, but they need to come to a point where they have two or three star systems in the game and they go to a kind of B, B testing, beta testing. And... Um, maybe change the subscription system to have an income stream or sell the game for 60 bucks or something like that. So they need to do something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, that's exactly right. So, and there's so many disconnections internally CIG right now. Shit. What happened? Yeah, exactly. If they have 50 things lined up, <laughs> what's going on here? I can't put my joystick on my desk because I want to read the chat. <laughs> Yeah, if they put 50 items or missions, whatever that those items are, into the game at one time. Again, uh, I was interrupted because I fly like an idiot. Um, the disconnect, that's my concern inside internal CIG. People not really working together. Teams across the world because of the time difference uh, from Frankfurt to, uh, you know... Austin, Texas, or Los Angeles, that's like uh, nine or ten hours time difference uh, to Canada, seven or eight. Um, I hate that, really. I hate that for CIG, but also the internal communication has to be improved, the way they communicate. Sometimes I have the feeling uh, Jared uh, is the one communicating to everyone what's going on in other departments, and he even made that joke. So I also... Deleted my uh, shader folder because I had so many issues. Um, that blue arrow you can see in the center of the screen was constantly on the side uh, every time I opened the game. And um, yeah, that happened when my computer crashed and I lost the character. But obviously it's all back. And I deleted the shader cage and that arrow in that corner is gone. So might have fixed that. Yeah, but my, my money is on CIG right now. It is on CIG. I bet on CIG. They will make it, but they have to get Chris Roberts under control, uh, to be honest. Let's see how fast we are going there. Yeah, it's on them, but it's also on Chris Roberts. He need to stop interrupting people with crazy new ideas. I also wrote that uh, in Reddit. 
He has crazy new ideas constantly and is changing uh, uh, the way they are doing things. This is insane. Finish one thing. Yeah, finish one thing or finish all the ideas you already had and then make changes down the road slowly. But that guy is insane, man. And I, I get the point. I get why people think he is actually uh, a scam, or the whole thing is a scam. But it's not because he's so smart. No, it's because he has too many ideas and he's changing, you know, the way of things all the time. And literally, people working there, they're like, you know, we do something and uh, tomorrow Chris Rhodes will come and we'll say, hey, that's not good. We'll have to do it anyway different. I mean, you cannot work like that. Give your people a goal, let them finish the goal, let them have success, move on to the next milestone. But in CIG, it kind of looks like everybody's doing a little thing, you know, but they really don't know what direction. <laughs> so, then you look at Bethesda, they made Starfield in a long time. It's a long time too, but they had only 400 employees. 420 and they didn't focus all of them didn't focus on Starfield here's CIG coming along with 1100 and of course too many people I think that those are too many people you just need a better management and maybe hire better people instead of having 10 newcomers one senior developer Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yes, absolutely. And my Carrack is faster. Yes! I changed the, uh, you know, Grimhex they sell. I think it's the Impulse. And it's so much faster. And you know what they have to do? They have to get rid of all his friends who work there. I mean, this was not a good idea. They're all... Like little tiny soldiers behind Chris Roberts' back, hiding, including that guy I absolutely don't like, Tony C. And Aaron Roberts, uh, Chris Roberts' brother, I don't know what he's doing. He was promising crazy things in 2018. Uh, I saw an interview with Board Gamer. Oh my God, man. Um, I have to, we have to watch this together maybe one time. It's crazy what they promised back then. It's crazy. Oh, we'll have this very soon and blah, blah, blah. Oh, my gosh, no. <laughs> you know, those roadmap things, I hate those roadmap things. Get rid of it. I don't want to see the roadmap, man. Th those are all false promises, man. Give me something what is finished. Don't give me a roadmap. Tell me tomorrow or tell me weekly or even monthly. This is what is finished. This is coming to the game done fuck this I mean they spend thousands a week just to create a roadmap save that money man take your 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 old roadmap look at the target and tell me what is done but don't look ahead tell me what is done looking ahead in, in game development is stupid ah man I'm fired up I'm Oh, man. This, I mean, I, I'm really passionate about this game. I mean, you can tell. I'm, I'm, I love this game. I bought this fucking PC for that. Sorry for effort, but I bought this PC for that or build it. And, yeah. Now we have this uh, little disaster called 23 no server meshing roadmap to 4.0. Man, I can't... Uh, had a discussion with uh, some guys on Twitter or X or how's it called because uh, uh, Space Tomato, and he's a great YouTuber, guys. I mean, he is great. I love Space Tomato, but it's just too many, <sighs> too many podcasts talking about assumptions all the time. Assumptions, assumptions, assumptions. I don't want to have assumptions, man. Man, what is this sound sometimes in the carrier? It's crazy.
Yeah, too many podcasts. I mean, people. I I think people want to see more gameplay and funny ideas in Star Citizen, community events, and those big YouTubers could instead of sitting on a chair talking about Star Citizen, go into the game and do some funny missions. You know, that's good for new people. But all the time podcasts, podcasts. They are good from time to time, really. I don't care uh, if they have podcasts going, but every week, several. And several different groups, all the time they just talk about what could be. What could be? I don't care what could be, man. It's senseless, because with CIG you never know if this will ever come to fruition. But what do I know, huh? I'm just a small YouTuber. Man, the atmosphere here on Lyria is a little bit different. It slows you down. I can feel it. But my pain is matching. I don't want to have a road map. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know, you have to, I mean, yes, you're right. Doesn't equal knowledge. Sometimes it's not really knowledge. Um, it is opinions. And, but those people, um, they worked so hard on Twitch and YouTube over so many years. They earned their space. They earned their recognition, right? But stop talking about, I'm talking about today. Right now, July, August, September. Stop talking about what could be and why 4.0 is not coming and all that why you talk about it it's it will change next week anyway and with citizen con around the corner look, hey, is the ship open yeah it is what huh? is that a bomber we have to check it out but it doesn't look like a, a yeah, it's open in the front and in the back you know, I respect Paul Shelley, for example, uh, the, the Astropop and, and or how you call it. I really do. But right now they're really just talking about what could be. But I was surprised. Uh, uh, I watched uh, the one from the weekend, uh, Road to 4.0, with uh, Morphologists and Soldi Mike, and both said... And I say the same already here on stream as well. If they don't come out with something essential this year, they, they will be out. Morpho Morpho Morph said, Morphologist said, and Solimike said, they will be out. <gasps> oh, what is this? I landed. What the heck? This is also new that you con that the ship constantly moves when you land. Yeah, can't forget my helmet. <laughs> Man, I forget so many times my helmet. The first time watching, it, oh man, they have so many podcasts. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you, if if 
CitizenCon turns out to be another concept sale event, people gonna freak out. People gonna freak out. I guarantee you that. Um, yeah. No way. No way. They better talk about releases. It's not a threat. I'm just telling you, if they don't learn to how to deal with their fans and backers, you know, it's going to be bad for them. Stop doing these concept sales. Find a, a new income stream. Make subscriptions. Sell the game. I don't care. But stop with $600, $700 uh, spaceships and not bringing them. Not bringing them. It's not good. Oh shit, man. I forgot something. As usual. Yeah. Yeah, if they bring another concept sale doing CitizenCon, a big one, and hype with uh, J JPEX, sorry. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> but I promised myself, I promised myself not to buy more pledges, man. Release it, yeah. Did you pledge for it? Because I pledged too much and I decided to wait for my pledges now. I'm not going to sell anything. I, I'm not a friend of that. I tried selling something and, you know, I don't know if you saw my video about make it make pledges more giftable, like five times. And certain other changes I would introduce to the game because I hate... Greg, and I don't know if you agree with me or not, but I hate that people sell their ships. They make it's giftable, right? You sell your upgraded ship or original concept to other backers, and that's it. They cannot resell it. They have to keep it or or meld it, and will never have real money back. I don't like that. I mean. Many people use this system now to get rid of their pledges and give the problem to someone else. Yeah, and then you're done for a while. Yeah. I mean, if you plan that already and you have your budget, that's fine. That's fine. You know, if you have the money, but in the end of the day, um, how to describe that? If, if I pledge for a ship, I give them a lot of money. I want something in return. And uh, I'm not talking about loners. I want gameplay. I want more missions. I'm, I want something. And if I have to use a loner, so be it. But doing the same thing for now more than two years, Welcome. it's not going to justify my pledge, right? I think you know what I mean. I mean, pledge is not a is not a joke. I mean, we pay real hard-earned money. <laughs> Some people don't earn money hard, but uh, you know what I mean. I mean, you, you want something in return for, for your pledged money. Thank you. So, yeah, we need to, yeah. We need to have something back from CIG, from Mr. Roberts. <laughs> There's no loot. Looking out of the window. Maybe I see the other A2 bomber. Was it, was it A2? I think so. 
Yeah. I didn't plan anything out with my pledges. I just purchased. And, uh, well, the mining ships. I'm, I love mining, so I, I pledged for the Orion. And in return, I have mining ships in my hangar. Awesome. But it's getting boring after a while. I understand that for many people play all-time mining. It is, it gets boring. So, and the money you make in game, everybody knows you're going to lose it. The next time server meshing is coming, you might lose your, um, let me turn down my microphone a little bit. It's in the red already. Yeah, next time they test server meshing, you're going to wipe everything again. I think I'm at 1.4 million. Yeah, what about my counter? No, that's not my account. I... I found some money the other day. <laughs> I found some drugs and sold them. 397128. Yeah. There you go. Why the lady doesn't talk? I don't know. She talks a little bit and then it's gone. Never saw that hole here. Huh. Nice. No loot. <laughs> so, I will do a little bounty hunter mission with my fury. It was so much fun until... <laughs> I lost everything. But I will try again. I don't care. Yeah, it was a little bit rough. <laughs> oh, this is cool. There you go. Crouch a little bit. Ooh. Let's close the door. Let's find a good mission. I'm ready to die. This is so amazing. <laughs> I love this. See, I started to use Blender to make some 3D animations and I know now how much work is in a ship like that. I mean, if you're an artist uh, doing this every day, that's okay. You will be for sure faster. But uh, man, I've seen that guy who, you know, build a spaceship based on Starfield in Blender for 4,000 hours. Man. And I'm like, CIG, you need to hire that guy. It looked amazing. 
amazing. He thought about everything. I mean, beautiful pictures. I mean, even Starfield Bethesda, they posted it on their Twitter. Awesome. Great stuff. All right. Call to arms. Protect side. Not now. Bounty. Black check. I think black check that is here, right? Uh, in the area. Arco mining area, yes, on Vala. And then Stinky Pete, someone. Uh, <laughs> Why I still have these evaluations, man? There's another black check trial contract for 9,000. Uh, let's. Uh, let's. Uh, Found it on Airman Burger. It gives a little bit more money. Lost and found on Vala. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so what I did, uh, Kraken, what I did, um, I downloaded this software to extract things from Star Citizen, from the game files. You can extract everything, including space stations. I have to download the uh, Port Olisa. Um, you can extract the 3D models of spaceships, uh, everything, everything. And uh, just earlier, before I started the game, I in uh, imported the Gladius into Blender and I built a backdrop and I built this nice um, scene around the, the Gladius and I will make a camera move. You can you can actually totally disassemble the, the, the ships completely. Um, you can even give them different paints if you want to. Um, but I'm learning a Blender right now and uh, I use the the time I spend there to import uh, things from Star Citizen to play around with it and make some nice pictures. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. But I also would like to uh, black check that this is here, right? Um, I don't have anything. Oh, yeah, um, I did some security contracts here as well. Okay. Yeah, so if you, f you can find that online, um, easy, about that tool and uh, th those guys who use those tools they do amazing stuff with the ships from Star Citizen. One guy actually imported uh, Star Citizen ships including the Kraken into the Unreal Engine and he built a whole scenery with a river, the Kraken and the ship moves. I mean you can do everything with the ship. It's crazy. I don't know if he ever did the um, and my door is open. Man. <laughs> they did the 3D mode and were able to walk through it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can. You can. I mean, you can actually build your own spaceships and there is videos out there how to do it. I was totally amazed. It's just time consuming. I mean, yeah. You need to spend a lot of time learning it and... Uh, can do it right away in the Unreal Engine, or I would recommend Blender, which is a free uh, software, uh, open source software, and it feels great. It's very complicated, though. I mean, it's steep learning curve. I even told my wife, I said, you know, right now I have a job, but if I'm getting older, but I would love to do something like that. I would even apply at CIG. 
I would have to study, though. I mean, you would have to game development, uh, artist. Uh, you have to study a couple of years to have uh, at least a degree, right? Um, but if you learn it at home, what the heck is this now? Lost and found. Hey, uh, Kraken, let's try to um, do it with the Carrick. I will go into the upstairs on the upper bridge. I mean, I don't know how difficult it will be. But I have to be quick, running into the elevator, go upstairs, hop, onto the, hop into the seat. <laughs> the, the turret seat. I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I can just... I can just go upstairs already. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to be uh, uh, on a standstill. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, a ladder would be way faster to go up there. I wish I could shoot from here, man. Yeah, I will make sure. I mean, we have amazing shields, so that should be not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, they should have a seat right there. I mean, actually, from the pilot seat. Oh, yeah, you wrote that, from the pilot seat, yeah. Wait a second, what is going on? Huh? There's no ship. I have to land. Can I be? Oh man, I hate that. Yeah, he's in there. Wow. Yeah, you're right, man. I don't know why they didn't do that. So, I need to land. He's inside that building. I think. There is a ship, but I guess that, that was from a different player. No, it's a bongo, huh? It's actually a bonga. Bonga mission. Shit. What? 
What the heck is this? That's weird. No one is shooting. Only when I land right in front of them. Let me go to the back. Is there a turret in the back? Man, I wish I could shoot from here. Oh. One is shooting now. Oh, 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 yeah, they're shooting. Shit, man. Okay, that's not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what we do? That's why it was more expensive. I should be safe here. It doesn't work. Shit. Yeah, so you cannot open the... Um the door from here, unfortunately. I do have uh, machine guns, that is good. Oh, what is this? Can we make it? Yeah, I think so.
Just move. Man, what is the problem? Man, these boxes are still here. What is the problem? We should be good to go. I don't understand this, man. I'm missing something. It's not driving. Thirty K? Man, I hope not. What is that red indicator? Is it not powering shields? Yeah. No, power is on. Power is on. You can see it here, no? Oh, yeah. Look at this. But I'm pushing I here on my keyboard. So now I turn everything off. And uh, what was ready? R. That is weird. But I also cannot click on I what is it? System? Oh now. Power. I mean drivetrain. The system loadout is screwed up. The power plant is missing. How is that possible? I don't know what Froster is. Yeah. Should be a cooler, okay. Yep, there's no power. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> so now, now I have everything ready to go. Can I fly there with the... It's so risky to fly with the Fury there, right? Because of the... Is there a blind spot, maybe? I don't think so. Man, this this sucks. Now I have this vehicle in here and I'm not getting it out. Yeah, and uh, button I on the keyboard does not work. It does not work. Yeah, guys, so I don't know. I don't think this will work. Yeah, have you access to the power plant? I don't think so. See, when they say system check, it should, uh, there should be an audible message that something is wrong. Yeah, how, how I can check the loadout? Uh, once I have to claim it, I mean, I, ha I might have to claim it, right, at the... At the uh, console, and then he yeah, I mean that that's that's the point. When you have systems here, I don't know what that is. I think you cannot access this, but um, maybe by pulling it out and put in. <laughs> Yeah, I, I we'll have to claim it. And then uh, check the loadout uh, once it's in storage. Yeah. Wait a second. This is how many? That's no. 2.4 kilometers. I'm not walking. I will try with the Fury. But that might be crazy. Yeah, always something going on. Always something going on, you know. <laughs> but I think if I go out there with the Fury and they start shooting, I'm dead, right? I might need to find a blind spot close to it. So I can hide. That's going to be funny now. Might be dead in a second. And I don't see anything. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> the fucking fog. I didn't see anything.
What is destroyed? Having works. Oh my god, I was scared. Everything seems to work. But man, I need to hide somewhere. No. No, it's destroyed. Oh, shit. Yeah, if I go forward, it pushes me down. Yep, no way. Yeah, it is. You see the red markers on top? Man, is there a way to balance this out by turning off uh, frosters? I think my friend did at one time. <clears throat> turning off the... Right frosters. Oh, you don't see. Cloak. Uh, front, upper, right. Froster main left. Froster main right. Well, I don't know. Froster main left. Froster main right. Front, lower left. Front, lower right. I don't know which one is damaged. Um, oh, here. That has zero. Thruster main right. Let's turn off thruster main left. Uh, wait a second. Now, now it goes only downwards. That is shitty. Oh, I know how to do it. So. The main right. Left. No, still goes down. Uh, it flies a little bit better. I think I can make my way back. Yeah, I had to turn off one of those frosters to balance it out. It works. It works. This is crazy. Well, if you push too hard the throttle, it's not going to work. But I will just leave it here. I mean, why should I use it and park it? It's damaged. I will just claim it. It's 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 cheaper.
So. What a successful mission. So, okay, accepted. I will just put this on, on track right now. Yep, I will do this right away. Get the crown vehicles fixed. Man, it's also dark today. Everywhere.
Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, man. I need space for the ramp. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is bullshit. I might just land on the side here. This ship is just so big. Yeah, that works. I'll be on a short break. Just give me a second, guys.
All right, I'm back. I had to make a important phone call. Sorry about that. I might be able to finish that mission. <laughs> so let's claim this. Let's see what happens. The Fury and that uh, Urza Rover. Wow, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> yep. Which game can do that? Landing on a planet like that. With real physics. Ah, there you go. Ah, man, I don't know why they're always red. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. So, okay. Fury, claim it. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. And then the Urza Rover. Let's see what happens. Unknown, claim it. Oh, but that box. Oh, <laughs> that's gone now. Oh, this nice box I had uh, for looting. I totally forgot about it. I could just throw it out into the carrack. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know. I know. I just forgot about it. I had some stuff in, in the Urza rover, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. Your yeah, you're right. Plane has been sent. Thank you. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Your vehicle has been delivered to... Would be nice if everything would be in there, huh? After you claim it. <laughs> That would be nice. But I like the Urza Rover, I really do. Oh, everything is gone. <laughs> Uh, let's see if it works now. Yeah, now it looks different. Yeah. That is so weird. I had no issue with the Urza Rover, really. And then after it was back in my hangar in Lawville, then this problem appeared. Oh! Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I multiplied my Ursa rover. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Now I know what you meant. It shouldn't be that way.
The big issue is removing this fucking thing from sorry. From the carrack. Exactly. Absolutely, you're right. But why is it damaged? Oh, how moved? Shields critical. System critical. System critical. System Man, people make me crazy here. System critical, yeah. At least we got that message now. And I cannot turn it off. Oh, now. Now it's working. Man, that... So, why we cannot turn off the power plant or regulate it, huh? What is pin? How we remove it? Can we uh, can we do a self destruct? Kraken? An arrow a message was blocked? No. Not for me. Yeah, can we Blow it up. Can we blow it up? Inside the... Uh, but then you have all the remains. Because it, it will go into uh, a, a stupid state with all the pieces. Right? You will not be able to drive anything else in here. So what I will do, I will just buy me some some goodies, sell it, pack the carrot, and wait a day and bring it out again. I don't know. Yeah. Makes no sense. Yeah, the power triangle doesn't do anything. Oh man, what a day in Star Citizen again. That is a good idea, man. Man, you are genius. You are a genius. Can I repair it now, maybe? Close to the pad? No. <laughs> but let's try this. Let's do a science mission here. Let's fly on the pad. I 
might just do a cargo mission with the Carrack. Man, you're a genius. I think this will work. I'm pretty sure this will work. I don't know why is it damaged. I didn't do anything with it. <laughs> Stupid game. <laughs> the, the, I was just so amazed about the noises inside a Carrack. I don't know who came up with that. This is so amazing. This is... Would be nice to have a camera, you know, right below the character. And you can turn on the, the screen to see what's going on. And these stupid lights are so bad placed. Even those other things on the pad. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Let me go back a little bit more. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> okay, so one leg down, one up, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now I have to go down, I guess. What the heck? Why take off? I hate this. Fix this, CRG. I turn the ship off. I was I was on the pad. There shouldn't be a takeoff. I didn't do anything. We are on the pad. We touch the pad. Hey, are we? No, we are down. Okay, good. For science. Let's repair the rover. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. All righty. This game doesn't like me. I will do a cargo mission now. Let's see how much we can load here. Let's make some money. Am I robots? <laughs> Cargo with the Carrick. Let's make some money. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> uh. Bottles. There you go. Get 
Can have something to drink. Oh. Holy shit. What is this? Second life undersuit? Featuring the same relatively reliable construction. Relatively reliable construction as the why not helmet. The second life takes some of those tattered old undersuits and gives them new life. So, okay. What good is they have here? Cannot sell. Okay, I don't want to sell. I want to buy. Waste. Acetine. Iodine. Aluminum. Laranite. Very low inventory. Okay. 36 SCU. Eighty three thousand? Yeah, why not? We can make one hundred thousand of it. I mean we cannot make one hundred thousand, but maybe a twenty thousand dollar profit. Best would be if I cannot get back in the ship. Oh no, it's okay. Oh. So I guess my character is doomed. Let's see where my. Oh, here. <laughs> Cargo pod elevator, so you can go down here with the elevator. This is funny. Might need to get everything off into a local storage and blow it up. What do you mean, Kraken? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the Carrick? Blow up the Carrick? I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, not right now because I have a load of shit. <laughs> I will uh, park the Carrick now at area 18. Oh my god, they need to fix this. I'll fly now to area 18. Sell my stuff. Park the ship. Yeah, eventually we have to, um, yeah, we have to blow everything up. I agree with you.
I haven't been there since uh, Invictus launch week. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, you have to make some good planning to do that, right? I need to get all my weapons out. Oh man, I forgot my suits there. And all that. I will use this uh, Arco mining area. I will drive the rover out to the boundary. It's not far. It's like 500 meters or so. Right? And then I can move everything out of the Urza rover. I can move... Before that, I can move all the weapons to the logo storage. Because I have weapons on board as well. Everything to the logo storage. Just hide it there. Yeah, I think that's what I will do. That's a good idea. It's a lot of work. I might not do it here on stream. Uh, wow! Did you see that? We almost hit uh, uh, the Bacini point. <laughs> we flew straight to the Bacini point and threw it. Holy crap! That was amazing. I always turn my head. So, now is the question again. Where I have to go. Oh, over there. I think. It's so dark. Yeah, that should be the spaceport, right? It's so dark, the spaceport, by night. At night. It shouldn't be that way. Well, someone's going to rework Aquap soon for sure. <laughs> to keep us happy. And it's so dark. That makes no sense at all. Maybe there's a power outage on our core. You want it? Please proceed to assign landing bay. A flying prick, man. It's dragging down. It's crazy. Oh! 
No take off, please. I could actually uh, start moving the weapons now. Everything out of the carrack. Maybe that's what we should do. And, um, yeah. I mean, those boxes, I mean, it's not really... It's not really a big deal. Can I move them now into the car, actually? I don't think so. Yeah, I can. Maybe I can sell that. Should be visible. I'm surprised that this uh, works here. Okay, so the weapons. Would be nice if you can move the rover out of here. Maximum limit. Huh? Okay. You can't even do anything here. Oh, it's because we are in a safe zone? The multi-tool works while you are on a landing pad, but nowhere else within the safe zone. Ah, okay. Learn something again. So the multi-tool works on a landing pad. Perfect. Well, it makes sense for cargo missions and stuff, right? Who knows? Uh, that one podcast, they said a multi-tool is overpowered for a while until there are other means of moving cargo. So, we'll see. I mean, a Carrick is a beautiful ship. Really, it is. I mean, even the landing gear, only the landing gear. I mean, this is, it's something. <laughs> this is really, to develop or to, those artists who, who create those things in 3D, I mean, this is, it's hard work. It is hard work. And we take this for granted. I mean, we really do. We shouldn't. It's hard work. Someone was sitting there for hours modeling those items, man. You have issues? Hello. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. People. Oh. Yeah, for some reason, I really thought when I claimed the Ursa rover, it will be gone from my ship. 
Is this a player? Yeah, it is. Whoops. Hello. Oh wow, a 115 player server. Are they slowly increasing now? Huh. Okay, where are you going, man? Can you hear me? I don't know why I cannot hear people anymore. Hey, Craig, do you have an idea? Uh, da -da, mute microphone if I take this off. I might be I might be good to go. I just don't want to have any Hey, can you hear me? Well, usually I saw two little circles on a top screen. Oh, look at this. This blue arrow is back. Every time when I fly the carrot, it's on screen. Do you see that? Oh, shit, man. <laughs> I think it's time to get rid of the carrot. We need a new mission. And you still have the signs for Invictus Laundry here. Oh boy. Yeah, usually when I push that button here on my... Hello. It, it will show two circles up there. Or something. Yeah. Yep, not working. I mean, I unmuted my microphone. Sometimes you have funny conversations with people uh, over the comms, the in game comms. <laughs> There was one guy who was running around naked and the other guy laughed so hard, man. The guy asked everyone if they can borrow him a spacesuit. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, man. Are you excited about... Uh when they bring buildings with actually apartments and stuff, and you can have missions uh, in those buildings like Lorville, the high-rise buildings, man, I, I love that. I love to have an apartment somewhere in the city. <laughs> but I, I want to land at least with a little ship on top of it to park my ship. And then have uh, weapon uh, racks and stuff, uh, a fridge in, inside the apartment. Man, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. How much money I have now? Three hundred eleven five three three. Yeah. I don't know why it does not work, the text-to-speech. Oh, this way. To be honest, man, I would love to work at CIG just building this kind of things like environments. 
Man, that would be awesome. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Hello. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> That's a nice saying. Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't care, I'm still free. You can take the sky from me. Yeah. Look at this, man. Looks like a little strike. But there's even a security guy. Oh, yeah, that's the... Fi yes, man. A rave. Are you a raver? I like raves, man. I really do. I love tech. I love techno. I'm serious. Okay. What we have in a Carrick. Okay. Laranite. But what about that one? Yeah, see, we made 20,000. Holy shit. Just with Laranite. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, as I get older, I have to say, my wife is not very happy about it, but I'm, oh, oh, that's Eaton. Oh, shit, man, I'm flying around with Eaton. <laughs> in in uh, Area 18. Okay, so we need to sell that. Yeah, as I get old, I'm a very social person, even outside the internet, but it's getting less and less and less. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know. I mean, I have a job. I have to work with people a lot, so. But I really enjoy hanging out here, talking to people. It's kind of scary. Because outside is a really nice world. If you love nature and these things, um, we don't do that anymore. We should uh, go outside, hike, explore. There's so many nice areas in this world. We don't do that anymore. We, we focus on other things. I know. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about, man. Scary times. So I mean, I'm. I, I will. I will sell this. Uh, this stuff. So I made twenty thousand. That's good. But that item is, I think, at least twenty eight. Right. We should take it out. We should uh, not take it out, but sell it, in my opinion. And then blow up the carrot. What time is it? Uh, I might do that tomorrow or tonight, off stream. Yeah. Raves are really cool. I mean... My wife and me, we go, every other year we go to Electric Forest in Michigan. It's pretty cool. And they have some good DJs. Um, uh, me as a German, I love some good German DJs, of course. Uh, Boris Preicher. Really good music. Minimal techno. It's minimal techno, right? It's not as... It's not as uh, aggressive, I would say. 
So we, we love minimal, minimal techno. It's more melodic techno, right? And uh, dance to it out, outside. Uh, doesn't have to be a rave, but like a techno party. Awesome. I like some EDM. I'd like to go to EDC in Las Vegas, for example. That would be that would be something I would like to do. Yeah. Yeah, if they scan my Carrick, <laughs> I'm going to prison. There's a disposal place here, nearby. I don't know if it's on Vala or on on Lyria. I'm not sure. Well, on Lyria is another good chump town location to loot some weapons. I mean, now but I arriving. I will take off the weapons here from the Carrick. And then we will explode the Carrick. Yeah, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I did some self-destruct for my Vulture. Or was it two days ago on stream? I think it was Sunday. Oh my gosh, man. What a funny situation. I will put a short. Samson and Sons, thank you. Um, I will make a short out of it. I turn on self-destruct for my Vulture. And I jumped out of the ship, landed, and died. I died. I have to look at the footage. This poor guy here, man. He's standing here since years. Um, <laughs> feel bad for him. And then I came back. I died. I came back, and the ship exploded right behind me. And I survived without a scratch. It was the weirdest thing ever. It was the weirdest thing ever. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So, the hammerhead is deliverable? That is not right. The mole, defender, the Drake Buccaneer. I don't know if, what, if is, is this is a good ship. And report possible threats at all times. Why is my. Oh, that's a race ship. I'm sorry. The 325 is stored. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's correct. This is uh, the Phoenix Scorpius. We'll take the Scorpius out and do a mission here. Want your company to be in good company? Our Corp's unique vertically integrated corporate parks offer amenities such as... Final mission today. Oh, let's pick a mission first. Um, so blackjack security. Okay, we can uh, blackjack needs. We want you to sort out who you uh, Luria Rex side. Why not? And then this one we will not track, will not uh, abandon. I don't know if I can land there, man. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Obey all security and customs personnel at all times. Vehicle select vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Gain some reputation with these guys here.
You know uh, what I forgot? I've got my helmet! <laughs> we can do a... a why are you closed? Um, right after that, if we survive, we can do a, a mercenary mission too. I still have my weapons here and in my backpack. I hope I will not die now. I love this ship, man. Sometimes I, I fly this with my son. My real life son. <laughs> It's just not playing anymore. Oh, yeah. My baby. Oh, wait a second. My, uh, my, uh, spawn point is in the Garrick. <laughs> oh, man. You have to think about everything. I can't think about everything. I'm sorry. Yeah, the point has to be up there. Who is last known position? Man, who is thinking about those names? Who is? Uh, what is nearby? Uh, the wheelers. I uh, hope that is the same direction. Yeah, should be. A wreck site. Oh, that's cool. Find a new wreck site. I don't even know what Velas is. Never really paid attention. Nice. Oh, look at this. Awesome. And the ship is fast. Uh in atmosphere here, 1,200 velocity, nice. This is what I like about uh, RSI. Did I forget the name? I forgot the name and about the ship, man. Scorpius, man. Scorpius, yeah. 
I don't know why they did the other one. I mean, this was so obvious that it was just about the money. The other version was not needed. Right? For the Scorpius. Antares. Nice trailer. Nice trailer. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, that sound. Do you know how to follow with the camera those torpedoes? Gladius. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can try, man. Oh, there's another... No, there's... What is this? Yeah, I mean, there's a thing. If you... What's happening here? I have to get closer. I'm too fast. Oh, oh, oh! What is this? Someone is shooting here. And look, that marker is still Craig, and the marker is still uh, here from the Carrick. Horrible. Oh wait, let's let's find this wreck side. Where's the wreck side? Oh man, he's falling down. Look. <laughs> Oh, it's right here. Nice. The wreck side is right here. Awesome. There's a Mustang Alpha. Uh, why are my weapons not working? Are you kidding me? What is going on today? Oh, wait a second. Docking Docking. My landing gear was out. Check fire. I don't know if someone is there or not. <laughs> I want to get a crime stat. That's a star horror. Man, it's so easy landing with, uh, uh, with the smaller ships. Oh, my neighbor's selling his house. A mobile home for 200,000? Yeah, no thanks. Stupid. That Mustang doesn't look bad with the blue paint skin.
I guess he didn't make it, that guy. I like carry lowered. Uh, of a redeemer next to this bunker. What bunker? Where's the redeemer? Guide me. There's no bunker. Is there a bunker? Oh, on oh, your bunker mission. <laughs> I did not know you were playing. Oh, you can actually walk in here. Ah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Starfire is also a special ship. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, loot boxes are spawning in here. Because I do not have a mission for this uh, wreck site. So, yeah. Nothing really to find. Wonder what the other guy did here. I'm sure he was on a mission. You can look down here, okay. Pretty cool. Oh, wait a second. No, that is uh, props. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'll do a bonga mission maybe quickly. Donut free, you're injured. Well, it's a little bit far away for me, sorry. So, mercenary, protect side, yes, we'll do that. We have to go where? Hmm, doesn't say. A second are we that close yeah okay let's get out of atmosphere
Yeah. So I will plan one more s scheduled stream where we destroy the Karak officially. If it's not working. But before that, we'll go to um, that disposal site. Samson and Sons on Vala. Oh. Oh, my space brake blocked my... Come on. Yep, no. Yeah, I will fly with the character to Samson's and Sons, sell the drugs, get to a mining facility. Close and blow that thing up officially with everything in it. I will take out the uh, rescue pieces. I will use it as a my escape ship to get back. Yeah. Good bug, it's somewhere you can find it again. Take a small ship out, station, take a scope out and blow it up. Yeah. Something like that. Good idea. You are right. I wish I could have repaired it as you said, you know. No problem, but for some reason, the landing pad does not help. Oh man, so, <laughs> so many dead people, man. Oh, back here on the side. That's funny, with the security suit from Hurston, <laughs> we will enter this mission in the Arco area. Help the blackjack guys doing that job. They're shooting already. I can't wait for this new underground uh, facilities. Man, that would be awesome. To have those. I'm sure they will be on Pyro first. Uh, let me check the situation here. Seems to be a bad guy. Yep. Oh, oh, wow. Holy crap. I don't see anyone. I don't see him, man. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man. 
Oh, fuck. Wow. Man, I need a, I need a gun. Who was shooting? Wow. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Shit! Shit, I knew it! <laughs> I thought I made it if I was the guy behind me. Oh man, man, man. Oh. How did he do that? I shot him first. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. Uh... Oh. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Ouch, guys, man. How far is that guy away? Oh my God, 16 million kilometers. Yeah, I'm on Lyria. I'm not, I'm sure you're not on my, uh, Captain Adventure. It's not Adventure 1, right? Is it? UMB Mac is coming. Are you my, on my server? Kraken? Yeah, this guy's coming. You send a friend request just now? Yeah, I cannot get that. I wasn't a third person.
Yeah, I'm not sure. That guy is very close. I hope we can do it. He's fast, man. I mean, I'm glad that people still do that. I tried to do this with the uh, Rescue Pisces. Yeah, XL1. Yeah, very fast. Uh, eats up all the fuel. Um, you know, I tried to do this kind of mission with the Rescue Pisces, but I, I get shot at by the bunker. You know, the, the, the turrets, they are shooting at you like crazy. He's getting close. I think he's in... He's on Arco right now. Turning. Yep. Yeah. The XL1. Most people buy it right away. How could it be abused? Could it be abused? I mean, if someone calls me out of a bunker and I'm able to land there to rescue him, how can I abuse that? Don't know. Don't know really. Yeah, people always would find a way. Uh, totally agree. <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah. Let's see what that guy does when he's coming. I mean, he's here. I hope he will rescue me. And I think the mission is not over. There's still two guys. Oh, I can hear him. Ooh. Wow. That is loud. I'll give my doggy a little treat. Huh? No, eat it, man. Good boy. <laughs> oh. Man, I think the turrets are fighting hard. It's very loud. <laughs> ah, he should be already in the bunga. Wow. How can you avoid those turrets, man? If I would know how to avoid turrets, I would take more rescue missions. No movement. Is the payment actually working now? Because for a while it wasn't. Like the 15,000 for, you know, getting rescued. Is that working actually? So I was not prepared for this bongo mission. 
Absolutely not. And no ammo. I'm crazy. But they were snappy. They were fast, those guys. Crazy. I mean, I like that. It's good to have some challenges. He's close. Let's see if he's uh, nice. Not some kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, pirate. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, I don't have anything on me, uh, 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 by the way. Hello. Hello. It actually worked. My microphone works. Fifty meters, fifty two. I didn't see actually security uh, units in the bunga, just bad guys. That's kind of odd, too. Thank you man awesome thanks so the mission is over huh Okay, so I'll just get out of here. I'm pretty sure he got the money. Oh, wow. What the heck? That's security, guys, huh? Ah, I cannot loot. Okay. How to get out of here? I totally forgot. No. I have to go this way, maybe? That's weird. Different layout. Very nice. Thank you so much. I have only five shots. I wonder what kind of ship he had or has. Nice guy.
I don't see any ship. What the heck? Wow. Where's this ship? What's his name? UMB or something, no? UNB Mac. See his ship? That is weird. Oh, here. <laughs> wow. He he landed clever. He was landing right behind that ridge. Captain Kraken is actually uh, in my server. So one million four hundred eighty. It did, huh? I think it didn't pay him, or maybe it paid him. I'm pretty sure he got his money. Nice. With some hiccups, I also I think I got paid actually for the mission. Ah, let me check this. Yeah, got the 15,000. Very nice. That is good. I think we are right here. Okay, we'll do that. 
Oh, actually, this is my favorite uh, landing bay, actually. Yeah, it's 01. It's so cool. Yeah, you can watch the traffic and land. It is so amazing. Ah, so much easier with smaller ships. <laughs> Nice. We made it out alive. <laughs> oh. It's always funny. Alright guys, I think I call it a day. Craig and thanks for your help and this uh, great discussions we always have. I uh, appreciate man, appreciate you a lot. Um, next time we'll take out the Carrick, test if the Ursa rover is working. If not, we have to blow it up. The whole thing. So, we'll sketch that. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, not... As I hoped it would be. <laughs> but this is Star Citizen. You never know what you run into. So, have a good night, guys. Good evening, Craig, and enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the verse very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back and hit that like and subscribe button. Guys, do it now. All right, see you. <laughs>